Hello, I'm Brian Hale, sitting in for Howard Hale. Welcome to the Harvest USA Report. Today's report comes from Lance Cochran, a producer from Oklahoma. We'll be back with today's guest with our co-host, Nelsina, right after this. Do you need help with anything website-related? Hale Multimedia has been in the business of helping customers just like you for over 20 years. We're not going anywhere, and we want to help you. Best way to get a hold of us is by texting or calling our cell phones. And those numbers are on our website at hailmultimedia.com. That's H-A-L-E multimedia.com. The biggest hassle I see right now is there's no wheat pasture cattle. No wheat pasture cattle. You know, there's some people out there that have feed. They have some hay. They're few and far between. You know, I've heard some crazy stories of hay bringing 150 to 175 dollars a bale. I personally haven't seen it, but I've heard those stories. Wheat pasture in 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 you know central, well southern, the entire state of Oklahoma, and most of Kansas, uh, and parts of Texas, it's live or die by wheat pasture. And this year there was absolutely none. If you go in certain little spots, little pockets, I would say of little parts of certain counties, you'll see a field that maybe they'll turn out after the first of the year, or maybe they'll turn out. But uh, it's going to have to warm up. This cold spell hit, and uh, that sets that wheat back. We've got some moisture. We don't have as much as we need, but we do have a little moisture. Um, but it'll be the first of the year before anybody really in earnest turns any cattle out on any wheat pasture, so to speak. And normally it's, uh, like I say, it's normally, uh, you know, October, 1st of November, we turn out on wheat that's lush and green and Sure didn't happen that way this year. And that's going to do it for today's Harvest USA report. And thanks again for listening. May God bless. I'm Brian Hale.